It's one of the first major steps in building what the Jacksonville Jaguars are calling the Stadium of the Future. A $10 million commitment to the project from the city of Jacksonville. Uh, it's a project that's going to cost $1.4 billion overall. And the Jacksonville City Council voted last night to use the $10 million for pre-construction design and engineering services, but the money won't go toward renovating the entertainment district. Tarek Miner spoke with the chief negotiator for the city of Jacksonville about the reason and what fans and locals can expect in the near future. The city of Jacksonville clearing yet another hurdle in its efforts with the Jacksonville Jaguars to renovate Everbank Stadium, envisioning a new age building with a fixed roof and metallic appearing outer design that would cut heat retention by 70% and lower the overall temperature inside. Council members voting 18-0 last night to appropriate $10 million to pre-construction design and engineering services. That was our, our first effort um, as as... The Jaguars have been very open about it. They've been working on this for probably almost two years, uh, the possibility of a, of a renovated stadium. So they've been doing a lot of the design work on their own uh, with a company. And uh, as we move forward in the partnership, we're going to start paying for some of the design work as well. And the $10 million. Mike Weinstein is the city of Jacksonville's chief negotiator and says the city is going to hire their own construction company to verify and confirm the details of the renovation that are related to them from the Jaguars. He says the $10 million last night was part of $20 million that's already been approved for the project. The money, however, will not go towards renovations and construction in the surrounding entertainment district. Weinstein says that's because including it could have led to major delays. It really would add a tremendous complication to an already very complicated process. And that property is embedded in uh, what's called a CRA, a community redevelopment area. And anything that happens to the property within a community redevelopment area has many steps to go through. You can't just provide it to a company. You can't just sell it to a company. You can't do things without a very elaborate competitive process with the whole world basically able to compete. Weinstein says the city of Jacksonville will start focusing on the entertainment district, which includes parking, hotels, and restaurants after the stadium deal is finalized. He anticipates city council members to be presented with plans for the entertainment district in the month of May. It's not just the lease. It's a parking agreement. It's a security agreement. It's a community benefit agreement. So there's lots of things that will be part of this package. The goal is to have the Jacksonville Jaguars play their first home game in the renovated stadium in August of 2028. Jaguars owner Shad Khan and the city will likely split the cost of the $1.4 billion stadium. But how much each will pay is still a part of the negotiations.